So as I started painting Moon about three years ago, we were driving back from some friends late at night. John was driving, not me, and I was just looking at the moon and the most wonderful cloud formations around it and the colours, and I thought, well, I really must be able to make a subject from it. So when I got home, I started doing some, I think it's probably that way up, some studies in my sketchbook, as I always do, and I also wanted to try and combine it with my love of the trees and the woodland and began to feel confident that I could develop it into a strong theme. So I tried to think of other artists who had used the moon and nocturnes as a theme. Of course Van Gogh came to mind straight away, this beautiful one of the cypress trees and, and the moon and the stars. And Whistler. He was another one right back in the 1860s, was painting nocturnes and was criticised by John Ruskin for doing so because they were so loose. Couldn't charge 20 guineas for something that had taken no time at all to do. Um, so I looked at them and started experimenting. And since then I've got quite hooked on painting the moon. It was a whole new palette for me to explore and a whole new sensation of light, which is very important in my work. So I usually start with a pre-prepared surface. This one hasn't had another painting on it, it's just had some collage and some gesso. And I have been working on this area as a potential area for the moon. And then I come in with these very sophisticated templates. You'll notice we have bits of packaging, paper plates, pizza bases, and also, if you can cut a circle out of acetate, as I have done here, I can place it and see exactly where the moon might sit. So the next stage is to place the template, choose the area that I think will make a good moon, and with a steady hand, I simply draw around it with a pencil. Nothing too technical. I wouldn't be able to use a pair of compasses, that's for sure. Right, so I'm starting with some really dark bluey black. I'm going to come in and define the moon, just with a steady hand. I don't particularly want it to be even. It will react with the colours underneath, hopefully. So this is a study just of the moon itself. The first paintings I did were of the moon in a landscape, in a woodland. And they were actually done over landscape paintings that were failures. I thought, well, maybe I can make it work as a nocturne with the moon centre stage. And since then, I've got more and more interested in the moon itself because I can be quite abstract with it. But with these lovely water-based acrylic paints, you can lift them off again if you go wrong with a damp rag, which I do a lot of. And I'm quite enjoying these areas here where it's behaving in different ways because of the colours beneath it. And I'm going to drop some of the gold that's in the moon just into the darker colour now, literally dropping it in. And I may drop some stronger colour over here. There's a delicious mauve under there which is going to interact with the golden yellow. So it is starting to glow. All this has to be done while everything's wet. And then you just have to be very brave. Go for it. And I might drop a different kind of yellow in as well. Might even take a cloud across the moon. This could ruin it, or it could give it extra depth. Uh, not sure whether I've got away with that or not. I'm just using the dry brush to drag it off a little bit. I think that's okay. So I may come in just with a few stars. So I'm literally just dropping these in. 
If I don't like the look of them, I can lift them out again with a damp rag. Right, I'm just going to tinker with this little area here. I'm quite happy with the edge there. Just a little bit of blending. And I'll just tinker with a few of the areas that don't please me. The moon has so many different aspects to it. It changes different seasons. And they have wonderful names. January was the wolf moon. And the February snow moon. So in titles for my paintings, I try and give them the title of the time of year when it was painted. Not that I know much about the moon. My five-year-old grandson knows a lot more about the moon than I do. and He's always telling me. I just know what it looks like. And I study it very often when I'm awake at night. 